Question 10. Two trolleys going to collide. After impact, they move off together. Wow, they fell in love and they stick together. You could call this an inelastic collision. Inelastic collision. So they move off with the same velocity. Both of them are stuck together. What's the kinetic energy lost in the collision? So to find kinetic energy after collision, we need to know the velocity, right? We need to know what's this velocity that they move up together. So let's do some stuff. Let's, let's try to calculate the momentum change and see after collision what happened. Okay, so this picture here is before. After, what happens? They are stuck together. Something like this, I guess you could draw. But they move at the same velocity v. And we don't know what that is. So we know this one is 2 kg. This is a 4 kg. So we are going to find the velocity after collision and we're going to use the momentum conservation equation. So that would be m1u1 plus m2u2 equals to stuck together, right? So m1 plus m2 times the velocity. So total momentum before is equal to total momentum after collision. So let's fill in the blanks. m1u1. 2 kg times 4 meter per second plus 4 kg times 1 meter per second equals to what's the total mass? 4 plus 2. Velocity? Don't know. We're trying to find that. So you press the calculator, you should get V equals to 2 meters per second. Ah, and that is how fast it will be traveling after collision. Very good. But that's not the final answer yet. We want to find the loss in kinetic energy. Oh boy, we need to find kinetic energy. Let's do it, let's do it. So, you gotta do this pretty fast during the exam because there's not enough time. Okay, let's find the total kinetic energy before. So, total Ke before. From this fella, you have some kinetic energy, which is half mv square. Uh, you can calculate that to be... Um, use a calculator. What am I writing? Half mv squared. So that will give you 4 times 2. Half mv squared. That will be 16 joules. Press calculator. Don't forget the other trolley also. So half mv squared here. For this second trolley. So that will give you, uh, if you plug in everything correctly, 2 joules. So the total before is 16 plus 2. 18 joules. Now after collision, what happens? After collision, the kinetic energy will be, uh, is E final. I'm going to call this half M is together now, times V, which is 2 squared. Now this one will give you a final Ke of about 12 joules. If you press the calculator correctly, then you need to calculate the loss in kinetic energy. So change in Ke, what is it? E final minus E initial. So in the end, you got 12 joules. Beginning, you got 18. You lost how much? 12 minus 18, negative 6 joules. So the negative sign here next to me is just telling you there is energy lost. Because they stuck together, it's an inelastic collision. You will lose some energy. But you can ignore the 6. So here you can see the answer would be B, which is the best choice for this. Now remember, there's two steps. Huh? First step, find the velocity once they are stuck together after collision. Actually, you got three steps. Find the kinetic energy after that and find the kinetic energy lost or the change in energy. Many steps for this. But that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.